Lot for real yields are now uh, positive once again, selling around 1.5, 1.6%. Uh, what is that telling you? That's really the big paradigm shift of this year. Not only real yields are actually back well into positive territory, but you've also reintroduced cash as a very attractive value proposition for asset allocators. And so think about it this way. There's a market that I look at closely every day, but you can get paid 5.5% to own a very high quality piece of short dated paper in the IG corporate bond market in the US. That does one simple thing. It changes the game from an asset allocation standpoint. It reduces incentives to stay invested all the time, and it will probably force the market to continue to build more risk premium and demand a higher premium against the risk of a recession. But it's definitely a paradigm shift like we haven't seen in probably 15 years. I was going to say, I mean, uh, simply because the, the curve is so inverted right now, very short end. I mean, uh, people are loving uh, T-bills right now, but would you agree that it is a uh, kind of a, a small or short window of opportunity for, for this kind of trade? Well, time will tell. I guess, you know, you'll have to, to, to sort of take a view on, on, on whether we're here for, you know, higher for longer or is it like a, a, a transitory uh, uh, type, of, uh, type of regime. Uh, we're not expecting any cuts in 2023. We think the Fed will likely stay the course. The market, I think, for the first time, which I find quite interesting, for the first time in probably many months, is now pricing in slight net net tightening in, into 2023. And so it seems like the investors are sort of embracing the view that it, it is higher for, for longer, uh, so to speak. And if that's the case, then I think we're in for probably another year, maybe two of, of elevated uh, short data rates. You know, Luffy, uh, you got to talk about what uh, uh, what's happening over in the UK and the Bank of England. I mean, they're being sort of pushed into a pretty uncomfortable position. We have that astonishing U-turn uh, and intervention in uh, in the gilt markets. That didn't last. It helped, of course, obviously, but uh, didn't help for long. And it's got a lot of people talking about we're still several weeks away. At come November the 3rd, they may be, uh, their hand may be forced, and they could be doing a... Uh, up to 150 basis point hike. Is that out of the realm of possibility? It's not our baseline view, but it is a possibility. And to your point, the kind of moves that we've seen in the rates and the FX markets were, were truly astonishing. Now, the last thing you wanted, I think, is for that big repricing of macro risk to morph a little bit into a threat to financial stability. So from that perspective, I think what the announcement that we had this week was, was a welcome development. Obviously, I would agree with you that that should not be interpreted as a pivot in the in the dovish direction. Uh, can they go as high as 150 basis points? Again, not on our baseline view, but but it, it could certainly happen if there's a need to sort of lean against aggressive, uh, you know, accommodate a po uh, fiscal policy.